Hello, second grade, and welcome to another week of music. So we're going to start with our He Had a Dream song to finish out the month of January. And then we are going to be talking about form today. So I hope you remember a little bit about form from first grade, but if you don't, we're going to review it anyway. So form, and I don't know if you can read that from where you are, but form, F-O-R-M, is the plan of the music. It's the way the music is organized. So the one that we talked about more than anything last year was A, B form. So remember we label it with letters from the alphabet. So the A section is often called the verse. So it'd be like uh, the song Jingle Bells. So you have dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh, or the fields we go, Laughing all the way, that part right there, that's the verse. But then when you get to the chorus, that's the part most people know, all the words to. Like, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way, that is the chorus. So that's the most well-known part. So you have verse, chorus, or we would also call it A, B. So we're going to listen to, actually we're going to play a game first called the freeze game. And there's two different ones here, and you can go back and do the second one later. We're going to do the first one together. And what we're going to do is on the A section, you get to move around however you want to dance to the music. You can get up, stand up, jump up and down, and move as much as you want during the A section. But as soon as the music changes, and you can tell the B section is starting, then you have to freeze. And if you don't freeze, then you're out. So here we go. Let's go ahead and play this first one. And we're going to start with the A sections, though. It means you get to move first. Here we go. Play my drums. Maybe it should be playing. Are you moving? Get up and move. Get some wiggles out. Alright, did you freeze? Did I catch ya? You can go back and play that again if you'd like, or you can also do the other song, which is another A-B song. So A-B form verse chorus form have the same name. So let's go on. Um, this is the form we're going to be talking about today. So we're going up another level. We had A-B form, we also had A-B-A form, and I'm going to show you that again in a little bit. But the one we're going to learn today is called Rondo Form. And what they did here was they took the song Bingo and just changed the letters a little bit, changed the words a little bit to remember this name of this form. So here we go, just a little bit. There was a form that was so long and Rondo was its name, oh. That's kind of just to help us learn that word, rondo. So feel free to go back and sing along with that song if you would like. We're going to go ahead and move on to some more review. So here's that A, B form that we were just doing with that freeze dance song. So um, you can come back here and listen to um, some examples. There's a vocal one that has the words. So that would be verse and chorus. But that's also A, B. 
And there's another name for it. So it's three names. We have verse chorus, A, B, and it's also called binary form. With bi is like your bicycle has two wheels. So it's a bicycle. And binary just means it has two parts to this form. The next one, we're going to go, this is another one that it uses verse and chorus, but the verse comes back again, or that A section comes back one more time, but the B doesn't come back. So you have verse, chorus, verse, and we call that A, B, A. And there's an example here if you want to go back and listen to that. And it is all, it is called ternary form. So ternary, so binary is two, ternary is three. So there's three sections here. And the verse is, you know, it does come back and does the same thing again. Um, but because it just comes back and the chorus doesn't come back again, they call that ternary form. But for us today, we're going to learn rondo. And there's verse, chorus, verse, but then we have a C section. This is contrasting section. We have a different section that comes back, that comes um, after the verse comes back, and then it comes back to the verse again. So it's verse, chorus, verse, a different section, a contrasting section, and then the verse comes back. And we call that rondo, A, B, A, C, A. And you'll hear Quaver in just a little bit in his silliest silliness, call it a baka. So there's a great song here, and we're gonna hear it again in just a minute. Actually, I think we are gonna go ahead um, I'll turn that on and we'll listen to that. So let's listen and see, raise your hand when you think the B section starts. Here we go. Verse chorus. So we should have a different section coming up that we haven't heard yet. Let's see if we have a different section. I haven't heard that yet. There's a different section. that song. So that's Rondo. And like I was saying halfway through that, I was like, really, it's chorus verse, isn't it? Because the chorus is supposed to be the most familiar part. It's still ABA, but A is really the chorus this time. All right, we're going to click on. You're going to come back and watch this little video about Rondo form with Quaver. I think you'll really like it because he's always funny. Then you're going to click over here and there's the Almost Summertime song again. If you want to see it all the way through with the words, you can sing along to the different sections. And then we've got this little activity where you are going to listen to um, the music and then decide if it's A, A, or is it A, B. On level one, you're just gonna have two. So it can be A, A, 
or it can be A, B. So you have to listen to it to see. So let's listen to this first one. Okay, so that sounded like the same thing happened twice, didn't it? And the little box lights up to let you know a new section has started. So we're going to check it and see if we're right. And we got it correct, so we passed the first level. And so you can practice again. You can click right here to get a new piece. And let me see if that fixes that. Yeah, so you're going to get a new piece. You're going to come back here and play. And then you're going to see if... It stays, you can go ahead and move the A there because you know it starts with A every time. But then, does it go to A again or does it change to B that time? Once you pass that level, you can go to level two. I mean, yeah, level two. And then you'll have three. So is it A, A, B, A, B, A? You're going to have to really have good listening ears. Once you've gone through all the levels, you can go to game mode and it will give you, it'll do more for you on that. So um, it's just another way to play the same game. But basically, you're just training your ear to hear when those different sections start. And this is an extra game um, to play. Then we're going to come here, and here's our assessment. It should be really easy. Which form starts with a verse, goes to the chorus, and comes back to the verse? Well, we call that A, B, B. A, B, A, or A, A, B. So verse, chorus, verse. Which one makes sense? And then the second question, which of these is rondo form? And after you watch that video, you're probably going to know which answer is it. Then remember, you're going to click submit on the orange button and then OK for the green button. And then finally, this little activity is... Um, pretty much for the in-class students uh, if we have extra time at the end so this is not required but you're welcome to play along and see if you can answer some of these questions this is kind of like a, a jeopardy game um, but other than that I thought I was going to put a little another little fun thing in here and I might add that in a little bit but it'll just be extra. So I hope you have a great week once you get your assessment done and submitted then you're done for the week and let me know if you have any questions, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.